Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. I've had a lot of requests recently to show how I change the animals on maps like Core Farms, Alma, Missouri, things like that. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. However, quick heads up, this is going to be PC only. Unfortunately, you're not able to change any of this stuff on consoles. So it's going to be PC. I don't know every answer to all of the questions as far as, hey, how many animals can you have here versus there and this and that. But what I do know is the way that I do it works every single time. So that's how I'm gonna show you. Let's start off with the basics. Obviously we need some maps to go with, so I'm gonna show you guys Core Farms and Alma, Missouri both. They're both a little bit different, but it's fairly simple once you've got it. You're also gonna want Notepad++. I've got the website right here. It's notepad-plus-plus.org. Download that. Once we've got our maps out, now we wanna set these to Extractor. So we're going to extract Core Farms and we're also going to extract Alma, Missouri. This is gonna give us access to the files within those zips, uh, basically unzipping them and opening them, opening them up. First one we're gonna do is Alma, Missouri. This one's a little bit easier because there's just less animals on here. So go ahead and click on your Alma, Missouri, and then we wanna go to maps, and then in here we're gonna find placeables. That's gonna be found right there. And now we have access to everything. There's also some other stuff in here that we're not gonna be messing with, like Pole Barn or BGA Bakery. We're not messing with that stuff. We just want the animals. So things like chicken barn small, we want that. Cow barn, cow barn old, cow barn old placeable, and cow barn placeable. Uh, all of these are ones that you want to change, but they're actually all gonna be the same, but you wanna make sure you edit them individually. So the first one, let's just load up chicken barn small. This is fairly easy. Grab that, and we wanna grab the XML file for that. Make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see it. And we've got all this stuff that you've probably never seen before in your entire life. We want to find where it says husbandry right here. Now we get to see max number of animals, 500. Uh, we're going to add some zeros to that. Food capacity is in here as well. Uh, and then I think maybe that's it for this. We also have the eggs, which we're not messing with. If you're on Alma, Missouri, there's another one that you may want to open up cow barn. It's going to be uh, like two over from chicken barn small. This is going to give us the, the, what we need for showing how many animals there are. Now this one is going to show max number of visual animals at 50 and that's fine. However, I've noticed that if I leave that at 50 and add all the animals that I want through the rest of everything else, sometimes things break. So I set this number to 20, but we're gonna add this from the cow barn to the chickens. Don't worry about changing it right now. I always select from the la or the first number of max number of animals all the way to the end of the, pr the uh, quotations there. And we're just gonna bring it in here. So we'll find our max number of animals right there, bring it to the very beginning and paste that in. Now we've got basically the exact same specs from our cows. But we don't want 350 chickens, we want 5,000. So I'm just gonna change that number to 5,000 and this number to 20. I always set this to 20. This is one of those things where I was like, I, I don't know what the right answer is, but I know that this works every time for me. And now we just set up the way we want our food to be. I always set this to 1 million. It seems like a very good number for me. And like your chickens are done. That's it. Go up to the top, file and save. And now everything from that zip file has been changed over to this. Once you've got that, just select the animals that you want. So we've done a cow. Let's find some more in here. Well, there's one that I don't mess with. It's horses. I don't know why, but it breaks every time I try and mess with it. So I leave horses alone. Maybe you know how to do it, but that's not what I'm messing with today. Aha, we have pig barn. Let's go ahead and click on that and load that in. And we've got a couple sheep. We have the placeable and then we have the sheep barn itself. We will select the sheep barn. Generally, when I'm editing, I will pull up every single placeable that I want to edit because I will make this the first thing that I change every single time. That max number of animals and max number of visual animals, change this first every time. So simply come through here, copy that from the very beginning of the number, and then we go into our cow barn and we can place this in right there. Now we have 5,000 cows and max number of visual animals in the pen at 20. Uh, that'll be good for us. Uh, if there is a max number of visual animals that is lower than 20 that you're modifying somewhere, uh, leave it where it is. <laughs> it's there for a reason, especially if it's lower than 20. Like here, for example, the pigs on Alma, Missouri, max number of visual animals is 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this in, but I'm gonna change this back to 15. It was 15 for a reason, it's less than 20, so 
leave it. And then we've got the sheep on here. Uh, this one's at 50, max number of visual animals at 50. So that's good. We can leave this at 20 and be good to go. Now that we've got the amount of animals, let's do the feed. I'm gonna go back to my chickens right here and I'm just gonna copy the food, especially in this program. You can just double click, boom, 1000 liters, you got it. Now we could go back over and we need to find where it has our food and things like that. So in here with the cows, uh, you can see we have liquid manure is already at 1 million because he's changed that, super cool. Milk set at 500,000, we want a million there. Straws at 100,000 as well. We want that to be a million, add an extra zero. Manure's at zero because there are no manure uh, pins right here for the cows, don't mess with that. There's also another one that you wanna mess with here, loading triggers. This could be for liquid manure slurry and milk. This is going to change how fast those things go from where they are into your tanker. I always like to just add an extra zero to these, so 20,000 instead of 2,000. That seems to work great for me every time. And then lastly, foods, uh, 300,000 liters here. We'll just change that to a million and you'll be good to go. You don't have to mess with anything, even though this is cows and they do a TMR, uh, because the way it's all done, it knows what it needs to do. Just make it a million, that's it. And as for cows, we're done there. So we'll jump over to pigs and we'll pretty much do the same thing. Some of the things will be a little bit different. So we have liquid manure on here. We'll change that over to a million as well. Straw, a million. And then we don't have anything for there. Uh, you can see we do have straw in, we have liquid manure, but of course no milk here. So we'll change this to 20,000 liters and then double check and see if there's anything else other than food. We have our food here, which was 34,000, but uh, Give me that milli, baby. Yeah. And now pigs are done and we just need to do something similar for sheep. Now for sheep, you're definitely gonna find that there's really not a whole lot in here. Some of them will have water. Some of them will just have food like this one just has food. Uh, and then you just change what you need to change. And now we're done. We're completely done with this. You could always change the mod description if you want to. However, I normally bet against this because sometimes I've found when I do stuff in here, it makes it where the placeables don't exist anymore. Again, that's just another one of those, I don't know how to do everything the right way, but I do know that this sometimes doesn't work. So you know what? Just don't mess with this. Once you have every single placeable that you want to do, save all. One button saves everything and you're done there. Then we want to re-zip all of these things. Now for me, normally I will just take the regular name of the thing. So here we have uh, Alma, Missouri, which is what it was. So that's, I think what I'll probably change this one to as well. So I'm just gonna copy the name of Alma, Missouri, go in our Alma, Missouri file and say compress to zip file. And this is gonna zip everything together. For most things in Farming Simulator, if you're in single player on PC, you don't need a zip file. I'm not sure how it works with maps, but I know with mods, like I have a mod folder called DJ's Mods, and they're things that I've modified to go faster, hold more before fun mods like that came out. Uh, so this allows me to do that. But for this map, we're gonna zip it. Once it's done being zipped, it's gonna give you the option to name it. We're just gonna name it. Alma, Missouri. Now to double check and see if this works, I've taken the Alma, Missouri that I use. So I have my own modded version, which is pretty much exactly what we just did. I've taken that out. So now we're gonna go in and drag this Alma, Missouri into our mod folder. Now just load up the game and we can double check to see what's going on. So I've got an Alma, Missouri thing here, but it's a different series. We'll come in. We have Alma, Missouri. This is the one that we modified right here because it's the only one in there. Let's load it up and see how it works. All right, we are in. Let's see if we did everything the right way. <laughs> this is gonna be really easy. Let's see, we'll look at the bottom. Animals, 5,000 foods are at a million. What we did worked. Look at this. Now we can buy 5,000 head of catatol. Nice. Another easy way to check this is to go into your easy dev, go to farmlands, my farm, all click that and it'll basically buy the entire map for you. Now we can check and see. Now, I didn't modify this one and it's unmodified. So I guess that's good. Yeah, <laughs> it is good. Uh, let's come up here. We've got our pig barn. Now I did modify the pig barn. So let's come over here and see what we've got there. 5,000 head right there, perfect. And down at the bottom right, we have 1 million liters. Awesome. And to do a final check, let's check on our sheep, which should have, yep, animals, 5,000 food, 1 million liters. Awesome. I never remember where the sheep trigger is. Oh, it's over here. Real interesting. Anyway, so there you go, 5,000 head of sheep. So everything that we just did works perfectly fine and didn't take that long. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 
it's less than that. So Alma, Missouri is fairly simple, all things considered. There's a couple different animals. Of course, you've got your placeable one as well. The placeable one's different from the one that's on the map. So if you want to put something down, you need to modify the placeable as well. Just modify all of them, do exactly what I did there, or maybe even do more. Go for it. Hey, I've never tried to see if they will hold 130 or 100,000 animals. Give it a try. Maybe it'll work. So now we get into court farms. And, and I have found, at least with Oxygen David's maps, if you take the crossplay version and you try and modify stuff, sometimes the placeables disappear. They're still there, technically. They're just not there. I've, I've had issues with Comston. I've also had issues with Court Farms. But every time that I've modified this version right here, the PC only version, it's worked okay. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we want to go into maps and in here we're also going to find placeables. Sometimes you'll find these in other places. You just may have to look around a little bit. And in here we have very similar things. We have chicken barn small, small number one, cow barn. Uh, what is that? Four cow barns. Doghouse. Don't modify the doghouse. I don't do it and I stay away from that. I also uh, modified the farm uh, 800 at one point, the silo, but that crashed the game, so I don't do that no more. Uh, we've got a couple horse barns on here as well, pigs, things like that, rabbits. I was able to modify the rabbits with no problems and things like that. So uh, we're just gonna kinda do uh, maybe all of them. It's a lot easier for me to just do all of them because that makes testing it a lot easier to see if it worked. So open them all up. Chicken barn. Chicken barn small one. Cow barn big. Cow barn big one. Cow barn big two. Cow barn small. And so on and so forth. All right, we now got everything open and there is a bunch of stuff in here. What I'm gonna do is pull up my chicken barn small from Alma, Missouri. We are going to find our husbandry and where we've got our max number of animals right here. We're just gonna copy that same bit right there. If you wanna look at it, you can actually just type it in the way it looks. And now we could just paste it in. Nice and easy, right through there. Max number of animals, 50, bam. We just add that to it and that's literally it. Same thing with literally everything in here. We said we want instead of 10,000, we want 1 million liters of food. We've got it, there you go. Uh, max number of pallets, you could probably increase this, but there's so many mods out now where you can have like 10,000 liter pallets or 20,000 liter pallets or pallets that immediately auto load and go somewhere else. You don't really need to change this. And from there, you just kind of start doing the stuff the way that we've done everything else. Change the foods up, change this and that. Uh, by the way, the horses, you could change the food amount and be fine, but I found anything over 16 horses, uh, things go bad and they all have to be seen. So it becomes a problem. Yeah, uh, here we have our cow barn. I believe this is the main cow barn on the map. Max number of animals, change that up. And then uh, we'll just a million liters for all this fun stuff. Bam, bam, bam. Oop, oh, no, 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 not a, what, is, what would it even be? 800 billion and 10 million liters. Uh, that's a lot. There we go, that looks better. And really going through these, I don't think there's anything that's gonna trip you guys up. Maybe with the rabbit area, th these are a little bit interesting, but it's not in crazy. I mean, you've max number of animals 15, you can change this up. Make sure you've got your max visual animals at no more than 15. If your max number of animals is below 20, change it to whatever that is. Trust me. And then for everything else, change your water to where you want it, your food to where you want it. I mean, you could set these to a billion if you want to. I change it to a million so that at least I have to feed them like twice a year, but do whatever you want. And then once everything is said and done, you've done all everything that you wanted to do like we did with Alma, you go over here, I copy the Court Farms title, and then we just select them all, compress to zip, and it'll compress them so we can play it in the game. And once you're done, change the name on that zip file, grab it, drag it in mods, and you're good to go. Jump back into the game, we'll find ourselves a uh, new save, and then Core Farms at Country Park. Bam, 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 jump right in. And now we're in the game and we can double check to see how everything worked out. So let's jump over here, take a look and see, how's our cattle? Where do we buy them anyway? It's up here. Let's see, so our food worked well. Uh, animal capacity, you probably see this is at a thousand because I may have changed a few things while I was making this video. I needed to make a custom version of this for myself for a project coming up. So uh, 1,000 head right here. Boom, we've got that. Uh, let's see, chickens are right over here as well. We'll take a look at those guys. 1,000 head of chicken right through there. Million liter capacity for food. Just about perfect. And so there you go. That is how you modify and change XML files for PC and Farming Simulator 22 to get more animals, get more food, and make the slurry and milk, things like that, come out 
faster. Hope you enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you got anything else you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.